420 Strain is a mango kush wheat ale brewed by Sweetwater Brewing Company. It is a malt beverage with natural hemp type flavoring. The bottle says this beer contains no hemp. So if you're worried about any kind of hemp product being in the beer, especially for people that don't like to use drugs or worrying about drug testing, uh, the beer advertises that there is no hemp in the beer. Uh, Mango Kush Wheat Ale, a second sticky hit from 420 Strain, an American wheat packed with herbal, juicy mango notes, and a distinctive dank nose. This was a beer I tried with the girlfriend, and as soon as you opened it up, it stinks. The beer smells pretty bad, uh, but that's the way it was intended. Um, so anyway, let's give it a shot. The wheat ale itself, you don't get much mango from it. Um, you do kind of notice that it, there's a little bit of an aroma there that's supposed to be on the fruit side. It's just a wheat ale, a very light wheat ale at that. Um, and, you know, if you if you if you consider Blue Moon like your baseline, this is lighter than a Blue Moon. Um, the wheat ale itself isn't bad. It's actually kind of refreshing. The only issue is the hemp, <laughs> the Kush, whatever you want to call it. It's so overpoweringly strong, and and it it just floods your nose. And even as you're trying to take a sip of it, it gets in your mouth and you taste it. And I wouldn't say it's completely enjoyable. And I think if they would have toned that back even a little bit, not saying get rid of it completely, but just tone it back, it might be a drinkable beer, but it's so overwhelming. And especially if, if you're a beer drinker and you don't lean towards that community or that that recreation it might be extremely annoying. Even the smell itself. The bottle's open. I can smell it now. And not only can I smell it, I had it in my refrigerator. And my refrigerator now stinks like this beer. Just to give you an idea of how overwhelming this beer is. The aroma is so strong. And it's it's such a... You do get some hop kind of essence from it. But you even as it's kind of advertise you just keep thinking about how strong of this kush smell is and it's just it's really overwhelming and it, it it really defeats the purpose of the beer the beer itself is not bad but you have to get past that smell and that that stench and it's it really is it, it, just, it just it's a stinky beer my drinkability on this would be one i would drink and if it weren't for the stench you could probably drink more of these, but the stench is in the beer. That's what the beer is intended for, so that's why I would only give it a one. Um, I would see this as more of a warm month beer if you were going to drink something like this. Uh, there's really nothing. It, it being a fruit ale, it doesn't really lean into that kind of. There's other better beers and better categories and better types of beer that would fall into the winter month category rather than this. Um, on a scale of 1 to 10, i got to give this a 1. Only because that stench is so overpowering. I want to give these guys a higher score because the beer itself isn't bad, but because of that over-aggressive stench stink that you get with this beer, it limits. You don't want to take a sip of it because you don't want to smell it. You don't want to get it in your mouth. Um, and it's such a... Even after you take a sip, trying to take a sip of something else... It almost like it, it's, it, it lingers in your mouth, the stench, the aroma. It's just lingering in your mouth. And it kind of takes a bit to get that out. Um, so, yeah, I, I would really steer away from this beer if you don't, um, you know, if you don't venture into that, that community or if you don't partake in some of those activities. Um, it, and it's just, it's, it's extremely aggressive with the odor. Um, but again, that's 420 Strain, Sweetwater, Brewing Company, Mango Kush Wheat Ale. 
Hey guys, if you like that, why don't you head on over to my YouTube channel where I do more beer reviews where I do all the drinking and you do all the listening and judging. I don't know how that's fair, but you're welcome.